Hi all, I got the first shipment of Mass Landing's Gunner's Daughter with coffee sent down to the Boston area. Um, I enjoy regular Gunner's Daughter. It's their peanut butter milk stout that doesn't actually use peanuts, I don't think. They don't even mention it on there, but this new cute label has little peanuts on it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think it's just some special peanut butter flavoring. It's only five and a half percent, but I remember the regular base beer uh, having a, a nice thick mouthfeel, very velvety, <clears throat> and a really cool peanut butter chocolate flavor thing happening. And this has uh, Colombian beans in it. And this is actually, the regular one was the first peanut butter beer I ever had. And I was surprised by how much I liked it, but I don't know, I kind of didn't fall, or not fall for it, but just go into the whole pastry stout craze. I'm just not into drinking these beers most of the time. Head looks okay. Some bubbles will probably pop quickly, but big roasty toasty peanut aroma. Yep, yeah, <clears throat> this one smells kind of like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Yep. Yeah. That is very nice. But it definitely smells more sweet and chocolatey <clears throat> than other peanut butter stout I had yesterday. Um, the coffee is not coming out quite as much in the nose because that peanut butter flavoring is just so potent. But maybe the the coffee is pulling it into an extra roasty, chocolatey sort of zone. Yeah, it's not a lot of char though. They don't, <clears throat> they don't say what kind of roast. It just says Colombian Arabica beans from On The Road Coffee. Or drier than I expected. And this is the canning from December 7th, so it's exactly 10 days old. We definitely get more coffee in the, the flavor. It's got a little bit of a silkiness, but it's kind of, there's still a, a, a bit of a bubbly spritzy carbonation. And I wonder if it's the coffee that's making this seem drier than, than I thought. It's really <clears throat> pretty good, but it'd be interesting to try this next to the regular one. See if it's a better beer when there's more perceived sweetness. This has a higher rating, but it's just rarer, and it's a variant with coffee of some popular stout, so people are going to go crazy for it. Yeah, that's surprising. The nose is so much sweeter at first. But I guess this makes it more drinkable. Mm -hmm. yeah, I guess <clears throat> if you want something that adds a little bit more bitterness and dries things out, um, then you might like this one. It has a, up front, it has all those pastry aromas and flavors that you'd like, but then it doesn't have that sickeningly sweet, thick, cloying quality in the finish. The feel could be a little better. This is also really, really cold. So maybe some more flavors will come when it warms up a bit. <clears throat> a little bit of a caramely note. That's really nice. It, doesn't, it does not taste like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I think it smells. But it's not, not exactly disappointing. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna be able to drink this. It's like the five and a half percent is is definitely noticeable in the in the flavor. If you want to just have a relaxing pastry experience, this is a good one. Or if you want to have several pastry stouts, this this is probably the best session pastry stout out there. I guess I haven't had many of them though. <laughs> but it's not really knocking my socks off. Maybe just because I've had the peanut butter thing, but I still should get like a four at least. <clears throat> but maybe as it warms up, I'll notice more stuff. Bye-bye.